This is my gardening process. This is a desert rose I've had for a year or two. The base of it can get up to four feet if you plant it in the ground. But I love how it branches out. And it keeps blooming. This is the breezeway in my apartment complex. So I've planted asparagus and it has little tentacles and little itty bitty blooms. I don't know if those are more tentacles. I've never grown asparagus, but I think asparagus is a root plant, right? Like a carrot. Um, I have some elephant ears in there and then some mint over here. That elephant ear bulb didn't bloom for some reason. This is Tabasco plant and another pepper plant with, it's called candy cane pepper. It's supposed to have red stripes on it. And this is a ZZ plant. I just love those plants. Rosemary is doing fairly well. I think I need a plant in a larger plant. This is Go German thyme. I've never grown German thyme or any kind of thyme. I think it's fascinating. Uh, a little succulent. <laughs> I don't do as well with the succulents. This is a hibiscus plant. Uh, it's already bloomed and it's waiting for more bloom. That was that age old exotic plant. I, and then this is peppermint and some more elephant ears. And we come around the corner, I've taken over the sidewalk with some big old pots. The first is a tomato plant. They bloomed and produced tomatoes, and then they got super hot, so I'm rescuing them and adding a lot of water to them right now. And then lavender, and my experimental station, and then another tomato plant which has a garbage bag tied around it because it got beat up by a really bad thunderstorm, but it's surviving. And then this is sweet mint, another mint. Oh, all these mints are just really tasty. And then this is salvia, salvia produces a little bluish purplish flowers and sometimes they bloom up and down the stem, and then sometimes there are just a few of them. I don't know if they're just that delicate and they fall off. This is zinnias. I planted zinnia blooms that someone gave me, and half of them produced. I don't know why the other half didn't. Turks rose. Up here on this little hill, I have jasmine. This is called firecracker jasmine because it produces little red um, blooms that look like firecrackers. And then this is my lantana. I believe it's lantana. Anyway, that's what they told me it was. Anyhow, and then come back up around this rock here. I have some pots with some more elephant ears and these little itty bitty white flowers i'm not sure what they're called but they die off they come back they die off they come back so they're really persistent little white flowers and my big old elephant ears i love the striations in the elephant ear Beautiful striations. This is it at a bigger glance with that big old tree in the middle there. Um, trying to get around so you can see the breezeway and my plants from the breezeway and all the different plants that are around. Um, the apartment people just are not real good about landscaping, hence all the rocks. <laughs> but I've managed to um, move around that. There's the Turks Rose again. They keep coming back every year. 
Uh, this is a bush bean that seems to be doing fairly well. Got overheated. I'm watering it a lot. Cabbage. It's doing well, I think. I don't, I've never grown cabbage before, but I'm worth a shot. This is kohlrabi, which is a form of a radish, I believe. And I believe it's a root plant too. It has these unique tops on it. I think it's interesting. I love the colors, the purples and the greens. And then we come back around and get another look. Really quick view, zoom out of all the plants in the breezeway that I have. And the asparagus, elephant ears, desert rose, and then a jade, I believe. It's just growing real slowly. And then my desert rose again that I've had for a while. My workings for the garden. And this, over in the other area of our complex, is corn. Someone has planted corn in a... Um, garden spot. Uh, it's really interesting that corn, corn can grow most anywhere, apparently, even in an apartment complex. You too can grow a garden in your apartment complex. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.